In this video, I'm going to show you kind of the methodology of how this would work in practice. So, let's say we've got some experimental data. So, an experiment's been done, and the data that I've got is shown in this table here, X's and Y's. And we have this idea that this should fit Y equals AX squared plus B. Now, we don't know the value of A, we don't know the value of B, but we assume that it's going to fit this model. So, what we're going to do is we are going to plot this data as x squared and y. So, I'm actually going to plot the data of x squared and y. So, we're going to have uh, 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16, uh, 8 squared is 64, 12 squared is 144, and 20 squared is 400. And the y values are as they are there. 5, 11.5, 36, 75, and 200. Okay? So we plot this data instead onto our graph here. So this is actually y and x squared. So I'm going to do this very, very roughly, as you can see that I'm doing this on without grid lines. So this is going to be quite tricky. Um, so I'm going to have this first coordinate, 4, 5, is going to be somewhere down here. So quite close to 0, 0. Um, then we're going to have 16, 11.5. Once again, not very easy to do this. 64, 36. Well, 64 is going to be up here. To and 36, roughly around there, um, 144, 75, so 144 is going to be around about here, 75 is up here, so 144, 75, roughly there, and then 400, 200, so 400, 200, I think it's roughly about there by I, okay, and what we find is that if the points that we've plotted go in a straight line, then our original idea is probably correct. That it will fit y equals ax squared plus b, because they are in a nice straight line where this is very similar to being capital Y equals mx plus c. Now we want to be able to calculate the value of um, the A and the B. Now the B, as you can see, is the y-intercept where it's crossing the y-axis. Now if you've got a quite accurately drawn graph, then you might be able to just determine what that value would be, just by reading off from your graph. Um, on mine that's going to be quite tricky. So I'm going to try and calculate it uh, more accurately. But first I'm going to work out what A is. Now A, as you can see, is the gradient of the line. So you just need to pick two points that the line goes through. So I'm going to pick uh, the first and the last. Okay. So the gradient M is the difference in the Y coordinates. So 200 take away 5 divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, so 400 take away 4. Okay, so we've got 200 take away 5, divided by 400 take away 4, and I get 65 over 132. Okay, which is 0 0.4924, etc. So it's approximately 0.49 two decimal places. So that will be an estimate for A. Okay. Now the value of B I can work out because I can say well that would mean that Y is equal to my 65 over 132 uh, X squared plus C. So I'm just going to use yeah, X squared plus C. So if I just plug in a value, so say 4, 5, then 5 is 65 
over 132 times by 4 plus C. So C is 5 take away this thing. So 5 take away 65 times 4 divided by 132, which is 100 over 33, which is approximately 3.03 to two decimal places. So the equation that I have is y is equal to a x squared plus this value, 100 over 33. And that will be the equation that I can work with here. So if I then wanted to say, right, well, what value would I get when x is, let's say, uh, 15. So when x is 15, then I can use this equation now to generate a value of y that I would expect. And because it's come out in a straight line, I would assume that this is going to be correct. So when x is 15, I get 65 over 132 times by 15 squared, and then add 100 over 33. And what I get is that y must be approximately 113.8. Okay? So, as I said, um, working out the value of a in this case, or the gradient of the straight line, choose two points that are on the line, and then you can work out the gradient that way. As for the value of B, if you've got an accurate graph, you should be able to read it off of the graph. But if not, you can go about it by finding the, the uh, y-intercept in this way. Okay, so plug in a point and find out what that value of C would have to be.